Whether you're heading to the UT football game tomorrow or having a cookout by the pool, it's important to protect your skin from the sun and sunscreen isn't the only way you can do that. Dr. Kelly Reed with Sonova Dermatology is here to tell us about UPF clothing. First off, what does UPF mean? Absolutely, so UPF stands for ultraviolet or UV protection factor. So it describes the way the clothing is made. It's mm. woven a bit tighter to minimize the UV that penetrates through the fabric through your skin. So for example, UPF 50 means only 1 50th of the UV rays are penetrating through to your skin. Wow, and so this is now a common thing to find clothing that's made this way? Oh yeah, it's really common and becoming more and more mainstream. And a lot of the articles of clothing you don't even know are UPF because they're so cute. They used to not be so fashionable, but now it's just in our mainstream stores like Target or Nordstrom where there's a lot of specialty shops online. And so how can you tell if something is UPF? So you have to look for the special tag that says UPF 50 plus. So that's ideally what you want. They have some lower UPF 30 through 50 and so on, but you want that 50 plus to get the best protection. And it comes with men's, women's, children. We're talking about across the gamut. Oh yeah, and they're really darling. We have some here to demonstrate today if you'd like to look through. And so first of all, we have some of our men's clothing here, and this is great for active wear. So playing tennis, just going to the gym, it running look, outside. It looks like it's that wick, it'll wick away moisture Absolutely. as well, right? And people are so worried that it's gonna make them hot and even more sweaty, but they're really sheer. This is a nice sun shirt that I love. So some of these brands are like Cabana Life, which you can find online, or even Cooley Bar, um, Mott 50, and UV Skins are some of my favorite. And um, this little baby outfit is just one of my favorite little numbers here. It's so cute. And this here, this is what you look for. You wanna see ideally recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation. And then when you're looking at it, you want to see UPF 50 plus. Yeah. So that's it, what you want to see. And we want to point out, some people may think, oh my gosh, I don't want to put my baby in long sleeves because it's so hot outside. But this is actually really, really good for your, your kiddo and, and yourself, actually. Absolutely. Especially because if your baby's under six months, you don't want to put sunscreen on them. We want to reserve our mineral physical blockers or sunscreens for babies six months and older. So especially when they're younger than that, we do want to keep them nice and cool, um, but wearing UPF UPF protective clothing is the best way to help protect their skin. One of the other things I want to point out is you even have hats with this that oh, are yes. made with this. Tell, tell us about those. Oh yeah, so we love hats, especially a wide brim hat. This one's extra wide, which I love. We want at least four inches, and that's to help to protect your ears, your neck, and your shoulders. Those are some of the most common places for skin cancer, and at mm. the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do is prevent skin cancer and of course minimize signs of aging as well. And now just because you wear some of this clothing, one of these hats, that doesn't mean you can skimp out on the sunscreen though, right? No, this is not exactly a replacement. As dermatologists, we absolutely encourage both. We want you to wear your sunscreen, so something like this is lovely. And um, this is, even though it's a, it's a spray, but it doesn't have the aerosol, but any spray you still wanna rub in. And then of course, wear you, your EPF clothing as well. Okay, perfect. Well, Dr. Reed, we thank you so much for coming um, on today to tell us all about these neat products that are out on the market. If you guys missed any of this, you can head on over to kv.com after the newscast and we're going to upload this interview for you. We'll be right back.